FM. Well, we're back again, and you thought we would be going somewhere. Now we're here, little on hot and the weasel, for another episode of the Marshall Kill Kelly Incident, where we will have songs on Lena and Linda, we will have songs on Grizzly Bird and Jesse Monk, and I guess you think that's all. Perhaps it is, but now it's like, oh, I can't remember. What is that? <laughs> I think Should we play a song? Yeah, I think yeah. we go straight into a song right, We never straight. speak of that yeah. again Okay, the first song is by Lena Minder It's called Stay Around Coming at you right now Hold me for a while In your arms And tell me why Things just change in time But promise me That you still be around Stay around Even if I go Even if I go Both young and full of dreams Waiting for The chains to break Untangle our hearts Walking free Hoping that you'll be around Stay around Even if I go It's a good noise. That was a good noise. So, uh, nice. 
Joe, how you doing? You all doing right? Great, yeah. Doing great, yeah. Doing great, yeah. Well, this is uh, this is cool time, and we're here with our guest, uh, Ron Huss, otherwise known as Cameron Hazard. Hello. And the Weasel, otherwise known as Phil Walker. Hello. And I have to hey say, guys. we just listened to Lena Minder with Stay Around. Very similar sound. Very similar sound. You Bang guys, on. Who's <laughs> ripping off who? Yeah. Who's ripping off who? Well, I want to know. Yeah. Obviously, you're inspired by Elena. Yeah. Lovely song, though. Ah, Lo- it's a lovely album as well. Really beautiful. Right? It's very pretty. I listened to the album. It's yeah. fantastic. It was the video actually shot in the famous Go Watch. Like, everyone sn- uh, sneaks down the basement every now and again. Was it? It was in an old hospital, man. Ah, okay. This is, there's a lot of white, yeah. Just so you know, people back home, everything's okay. It's just that uh, Cameron uh, Lang, who owns the studio, is on the little Agent Orange phone right here. He's uh, and now he's just talking, and we can hear him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Anyway, uh, yeah. He's How you doing, Lance? You all right? You doing okay? Very well, man. Yes. Yeah. Pleasure to be here. You look absolutely delicious Thank and you nutritious. Much. Oh, that's uh, very kind. And uh, you know, Sunday best. You gotta gotta dress up. It is a Sunday. Yeah. Yes. Got the, uh, this is the bollard tie, right? It's your bollard I love tie. that thing. I tie. absolutely love that. Yeah. Thing. Got that in. Um, New Mexico, mm-hmm. or was it? No, yeah, Santa Fe. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Same place, right? I don't Ish. know. I don't know yeah. where Ish. Santa Fe is. Isn't Santa <laughs> yeah. Fe in Switzerland? Oh, no, it's Santa Fe. Oh, man. I Santa Fe. Know. Which is the one they go <laughs> skiing in. That's different than uh, New Mexico. Aspen. <laughs> A little place called Aspen. Yeah. 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 And uh, Mr. Weasel. Do you like? Do you Hello. like the name the weasel? By the way, oh, I've gotten used to it. I've gotten used to it. To it's been like just. How'd you get it, man? Uh, Cameron, like everything in my Cameron. world, it seems to originate with Cameron. That guy. Right. It was because <clears throat> when I lived in London with him and another guy called Danny, they were like the most borderline insistent alcoholic people. And you couldn't leave a bar without being <laughs> harassed. So I used to just see the sneak to the toilet and walk out the door or just, just walk out the door. The Irish the goodbye. That's what I call it. The the out of there. Mm. <clears throat> it's the only way to get away in Berlin. You have to just leave. Yeah. I went to a gig last week. I said, I'm going to the toilet. Went to the toilet. People were like, hey, man, we're all doing a bit of ketamine. You want to come on down? And I was like, I'll oh, swiftly move out of this uh, tenant. I left at 10 o'clock, and I was very Straight proud of the toilet window. Yeah. We got a little buzz from the this. Is that all right, Cam? Can we turn off the buzz? No? Yeah. 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 Y
And, uh, you know. <laughs> well, we're uh, excited. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's, it's a fucking banging show. Oh, by the way, before we uh, send it off, I, uh, my friend, uh, he wrote to me today, uh, hey, I'm doing, he's uh, in music production for a Bollywood thing. So he, oh. he wrote me today, ah, I need music, send me something. And I was like, I sent it back. <laughs> nice. And he's like, he was like, that really fucking lifted my spirits. This is great, man. <laughs> he called it Kraut Rock. Is it, you're okay with Kraut Rock Yeah, it's, it's like Surf Western Kraut Rock. Yeah. It's okay. like if Kraut yeah. Rock and Surf, you know, had a... I'm had selling them short. Shot. He definitely mentioned Surf in there That's as well. Good. He said Surf Rock. Do you think there's a rock. chance this is going to turn up in a Bollywood film? I think it's 90, 90%. <laughs> uh, 90%. And here you go. Before it hits the Bollywood screens, let's hear it for Ron Huss and the, the Weasel lads. with Farrit. End it here. Or is it Farrit? We don't know. You we decide. That was a fucking banging tune, tune, man. It's really, yeah, really right. great, man. Thank you. Thanks, lads. That's great stuff. So that was you, Phil, playing the guitar? That was me um, playing guitar and bass, I think. That was, yeah. And Giddy on uh, drums. Right, right. And, uh, and you on the sax. On the old porn horn there. Violent porn Very horn. Very nice. That's what it sounds yeah. like. It sounds violent in a good way. And that was all recorded here, down here in, the, in this video. Yeah, it was pretty quick. Probably. I think we, we came in with like a demo, which was just Cam playing guitar. Mm -hmm. And then Giddy just threw down these crazy drums. It was like, that's, right. that's, that's it right there. And then a little bit of production. We were good to go. Cool. That's how we roll. In and out. Yeah. Not messing around. So uh, it was, uh, what was it, 2020, it was released, I saw. I was listening to it today. Yeah. Yeah, it was Christmas, it was Christmas 2020, I think. That's right. But yeah, that's right. We drove around in the... In you know, the glory days. Yeah, it's a winter. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas yeah. song, that's what we said. Yeah. It's a Christmas tune. Yeah. It's a Christmas uh, yeah. lullaby for the kids. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Something to give back at the end of the year. Jesus, how was, uh, how was lockdown for you anyway? Because <laughs> I just was like, that was like peak lockdown right there. It was, wasn't it? December 2020, yeah. yeah. That, yeah. Was, yeah. that was when that was he was getting pretty really brutal. The winter of discontent. And so you were recording the first a video in the middle of lockdown, were you? Driving around. Yeah, yeah. you Having right. a time. You got yeah. It. Lockdown, man. That feels like, uh, you know, did it happen? I don't think so. No. I think it was a strange dream. I look back at the simulation it. theory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go on, <laughs> quantum mechanics over here. Yeah, okay. Here's a joke we prepared earlier. 
Oh, you said you had a joke, actually, right? No, my joke was uh, that was very similar to Lena Minder. I'm laughing at my own joke. All right. It wasn't similar. That's what was my joke. Didn't work. Okay. Folks did it. No. Is my back still at the audience? I'm getting a tough crap from uh, tough crap Victoria over there. <sighs> so, what do you think about wax? No, works, let's man? just leave it. Let's just leave it. <laughs> no need to talk. Like we don't Are have you... to fucking talk, do we? All right, no, yeah, no, no. not at all. Actually, Bill can smoke. Anyway, what were you saying? What were you saying? Just talking about um, wax mu- uh, museums. <laughs> And what do you think about that? Well, Victoria's uh, baby, the one who should talk about this. Oh, yeah. Victoria doesn't want to talk. All right. Next she, topic. There you go. Next topic. So, uh, you like uh, <laughs> you like uh, any of these acts here? We got uh, we got some coming up. There's a guy called R- Grizzly Bird. You ever hear of him? Uh, I've heard of Grizzly Bird. Friendly yeah. German fella. And then we have uh, another person that uh, we'll save for later because we don't want to spoil it. Yeah. So how did you guys get get to play music together anyway? What's, what's That's a good story. Good there? question. Where was the origin point? I think... Um, I rocked up to a dinner, severely hungover. I think it was it was Vicar's birthday two or three years ago. And I sat down next to Phil. And there was about 10 of us there, Bob and, uh, you know, M- Mogul and various other characters. Mogul is a code for Cameron Lang for That's all our right. viewers back home. Bob yeah. is code for Bob. Bob. Lord, Lord Bobbington. Spen- Another person yes. who yeah. works here called Bob Spencer is just a gentleman in general, isn't he? really it? is, yeah. And I sat down for this meal and I don't know if you've ever had one of those days where the hangover really creeps up on you. And once you sit down, you realize Never you have to leave. Life. So I met Phil and within 10 minutes I had to excuse myself and <laughs> did not dine that night. I went home and went right. to bed. But that was the first time uh, we met they, and the, chatted. Just a few hours later that night, there was a knock at the door. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. But that's, that's for right. the He said, <laughs> get the sex. I got the car. <laughs> We're going to make a video. Tonight we drive. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, history was made. <clears throat> that's fucking fantastic. Yeah. yeah. But that was it, wasn't it? I don't think we'd hung out before that. No, it was, I think we were going to do the video here, which never <laughs> never, oh, never right. came to be, that's but uh, right. that was the first time we ever played together. Was here doing, um, yeah. doing a video. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, from there we, uh, you know, wrote some tunes, did some shows. We actually only played twice. But you're uh, playing this Wednesday. You actually have a show playing this Wednesday. On the, box, the, right? the Valiant Return of yeah, Ron nice. House and the Weasel. Actually, you're going to yeah. miss it, uh, people back home, because it's uh, going to. This is going to air a little later. But yeah. you're also going to be there, aren't you? Just hanging out. I think I'll go down. You're yeah. going down yeah. there. So what can the audience, or what will the audience have experienced? Um, you know, thrills. Uh, it's going to be sweaty. It's going to be 27 degrees. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a warm one. We're freezing outside, but we're going to crack. We've got a sauna. Sauna oven. They're going to hear... Uh, we've got some big, big tunes. Well, we've got some big tunes, actually. <laughs> we're bangers, only playing a few f- bangers. A few too. bangers, yeah. all your favorites. We're going to go deep into the 80s. But you're going as a duo. Yeah. You've got gonna, some special you're guests. Get, oh, you have some special yeah. guests. You're not going to spoil that. Though. Don't want to spoil the surprise. And it's pointless, you know, because it's... Uh, it's already happened. It's already happened, right? <laughs> this you is time go. travel. Quantum yeah. physics teaches that, us yeah. many things about time travel, Joe. And we'll get into it right after this next song. This is a uh, Grizzly Bird and the Drummer's Trauma. And he... Ah, I know this song. I know this song as well. This is bonkers. We were right? in this, like, this video, actually. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, we, maybe we watch the video and then we can chat about it after. All right. In the beginning the store seemed like a good idea Passionate people getting discount on gear Being surrounded by music all day around playing the drums getting paid by the reality working in that place how are you supposed to keep a friendly face to the people coming from the testing booth when they are not at all soundproof like children banging and hitting and crashing from nine to five No technical skills, how do you survive? All the drama, drama It 
it's the drama strama. Oh, the drama drama. It's the drama strama. Famous dramas coming in before gigs. Some of them were knights, most of them were pricks. Musicians are not the top of society, just proven by any rehearsal spaces, sanitary. Like children banging and eating and crashing from nine to five. No technical skills, how do you survive? All the drama, drama. It's the drama's trauma. All the drama, drama. It's the drama's trauma. This will be the last episode of uh, the Marshall Kilkelly incident. Thank you very much for all our friends <laughs> over the years. Um, the, it's something that's been brought to our attention that uh, we have a little color uh, thing going on here between yourself there. Joe. Color? Yeah. And uh, I think it's the same here. color as... Does it come up on film? Give it, a, give it one of them. We can't zoom. Well, it's, it's an identical <laughs> color, though. It's not yeah. often you find the same... Why is it just the I one? Cut my why is it just the one finger? And put it on. That's a good question, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat last episode. This is the last. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway. We should talk a little bit about the song. <laughs> <laughs> we should talk about the song. I want to know about the finger. Um, now. Know, like, there's there's plenty of time for the finger. I yeah. think the finger is going to be brought up throughout the episode. Yeah. We have pitfalls, and and also mountains to climb but to yeah, find out. So can you tell us actually briefly before I talk about, about the, vi the, the video? video? When did you paint your nail? A couple of days ago. Thank you. That's all I yeah, need to know. For those who couldn't see, it, you know, over there at home, it's exactly the same color as the suit. I think I think this was obscure. It's a lovely color. Well, yeah, I looks, think your color is lovely. And there's a lot lovely. more of it. You know, I, I thought it was nice on the small fingernail. 
And then now it's on a, it's an entire body. I believe it was Carl Jung who said synchronicity occurs when people are connected to the subconscious. And so there, I think that's exactly what uh, this podcast needs right that's now. So exactly down. what's happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you were in that video. That was an incredible video uh, where it's basically uh, a zombie movie that happens in Berlin. And oh, Mike, yeah, Michael right. Brinkward is kind of, uh, Jack Nicholson in The Shining, and the, the he's, zany villain. Yeah, yeah, that's a uh, quite. And then the drumming bit. villain, right? So he's the, 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 right. the story is that well, the story, but like that <laughs> is, is a like <laughs> the caper. Grizzly Bird is trying to play yeah. music everywhere. Yeah. Is it? And then, or he's just he's just walking around. Well, you see, there's yeah. a trauma, a trauma around. happening here as well. Right. It's yeah. a drummer's trauma. So I believe it was Kyle Young who said uh, the trauma <laughs> comes about uh, when we do not go into the subconscious and deal with our shadow i think that's what we're exuding sure. here am i right Ken? spot on yeah absolutely <laughs> there we go thank you we've learned a lot today haven't we? but uh, joe and i were running through the streets uh, as part yeah. of this i don't know what what was our role we, we just there uh, to we chased after we we're chasing after we acted as the goons yeah, yeah. hired goons yeah exactly. hired, hired goons, goons. <laughs> hired goons not the Goonies. No, that's a set. different thing. It's a great yeah. film. Oh. It's a good. It's a good video, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a yeah. fantastic video. I got a. It's also a good song. It's a. Uh, he's There's a gentleman a as well. Yeah, it's a banger. He, I think he just had another baby. He did. I met the baby. He did have yeah. a baby. I can verify it as a new baby. There we go. Grizzly, you got all the secrets yeah. here now on this podcast. <laughs> but uh, have we cheers? We yeah, should cheers. We haven't we done cheers. a cheers. Cheers. A cheers. I'm chosen. Cheers, all. Cheers, man. Cheers to you um, over there. Have you uh, embraced the whole, you have to stare each other in the eye yeah, thing you have since to, you moved to Germany? Yeah, yeah. That freaks me out. I try to avoid it. I give a little glance. Two glass eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a little severe because in, in Ireland, we actively avoid the eyes as much yeah. as possible when we cheer yeah. because we're scared. I would say that's the, each cult, other. the culture is similar like in well, New Zealand. Australia, yeah. probably as well. What about England? Yeah, no, just no like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What about, where are you from in England, by the way? Plymouth. What the fuck's going on in Plymouth? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You heard it here, folks. You come for the Carl Young, you stay for the Plymouth. Did you used to, did you used to play music back in Plymouth? Were you? Uh, yeah, a couple times in like college and stuff, but I left when I was like 19. So right, okay. yeah, I went to London. When I did lived... you come to Berlin? 2011, January 2011. It was like, I drove over with Cameron. Cameron was already here for like six months. And we drove over from, I picked him up in Maidstone. We drove over in um, January. And we got here and the snow was like piled up. It's like the top of the cars. Wow. On the side of the streets and uh, yeah. Couldn't get in. Oh man, it was crazy. It was crazy. I couldn't like, pfft. I didn't know anything about Berlin before I moved here. I didn't know what to expect. And, you, uh, you and Cameron Lang were in a band together in the yeah, early we days in of a, Berlin yeah, as well. Yeah, we were in a band in London. I've known Cameron since 2000. You were living on the boat in London. On the boat with Cameron. Did you, were yeah. you there when it sunk? No, I wasn't. I wasn't in the... I, I was living on the boat at the time, but I wasn't there the night that it nearly sunk. Very suspicious, folks. <laughs> Very suspicious. Uh, yeah, so he was just mysteriously not there the night that it sunk. Mysterious. <laughs> I'm just leaving that out there for the viewers at home. But uh, yeah, uh, so has Berlin changed over the years? Since obviously it has. You what? You must have been sp spending like 100 euro on rent or something when you first arrived. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The lifestyle has definitely changed. You kind of uh, go from living on one kebab a day to you know like an, an, an a bottle of Sternberg or ten, you know. Yeah. To uh, you know trying to Eating be a real meal. <laughs> try and be an adult. <laughs> what now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking. Oh, I can't remember what I'm drinking now. Something better than Stone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it says here it's Paul Anner, but that's, that's definitely not. We're not meant to. It's the Dom Perignon of beers. Yeah, there <laughs> is. But I went to my local kebab stand uh, yesterday and it was up 50 cent. They just made the jump up 50 uh -huh. fucking yeah, cent. It's the, the that's it. The price of cooking oil has gone up like fivefold or something. Mm. Putin, yeah, you've yeah, done yeah, it yeah, again? <laughs> Well, you must have the same experience when you moved here. Like kebabs in the UK are one thing, and then you come here, and the kebabs are like Jesus. Uh, you would only have a kebab in Ireland uh, or, or or Britain when you were absolutely uh, you've had a few beverages. But here, you, you could rock that at any time it of day. Was like, it was like there would be certain places that do like a one euro kebab. Yeah. That was like the diet for like six months. It was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I Ireland, love hearing about the they had something called the spice bag. Right? Yeah, that's a new <laughs> thing. It happened while I was away. Right. I feel like that has been a, a crucial part of the Irish culture, and I've been missing for it. So I think I've lost part of what it is to be Irish because they're all like, 
Let's have a Where spice bag. What's, yeah, no, no, no. What's a spice bag? Exactly. I yeah. wouldn't even know because I think it's fucking... a bunch of like it's just a bunch of fried stuff in a bag. Yeah, and then they just loads of spices, shake it up, and then you get it. Like it's like fried what sort of potatoes. All oh, right. Okay. So maybe like I don't know what something else that needs to be there, explained at the start of this deep is that thing. we Served don't in a bag. Yeah. really have authentic takeaways. Uh, in Ireland from other countries we pretend we do we're like oh let's go get some Chinese food you're getting chips with some fried yeah. onions basically and chicken cooked in a sudden fried chicken type of way ah. so and they call that a Chinese and now what they've uh, <laughs> amalgamated now is that they're like alright we got all the leftover shit at the end of the night it's let's like just the put dra- some chips like the in that the, call of, it a spice bag yeah. and it took off it's a yeah. If anyone's watching back home in Ireland, this will be called blasphemy and I'll be kicked out of the country. (laughs) But I've already left. So it's okay. That spice bag sounds pretty good. It does sound pretty good. Yeah, I'm sold. Do you miss uh, Australia? No, not really, man. No. No, Uh, it's a long way away. And... um, No, the answer's a a pretty blunt no. (laughs) (laughs) You'll also be kicked out of here. Yeah, yeah, but what part of... You're from Melbourne, right? I'm from Melbourne, yeah. But yeah. that has a thriving music scene, famously, right? Yeah, that's true. It's got a great scene. And um, used to play a lot in the pubs in Melbourne. And I do miss that. Uh, what is it that you don't miss? <laughs> um, the, oh, the main I things. Miss. Just the, like the... I don't know, man. Just the vibe. A lot of people back there talk about the traffic. Uh, I, don't, okay. I, I don't miss that. A lot of people talk about... Uh, Property, property prices. Yeah, this is, this not interested this in those two things. Right. Yeah. So I'm happy to be away from that shit. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it's still there, and it's uh, it's a fine city, fine is country. A, but is uh, uh, the bad seas from Melbourne? Yeah, Nick Cave. Yeah, he grew up um, a few suburbs from where I grew up. And they got they got out and went to London, right? Went and to London. Then they went to Berlin too. And they were revered here as 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 kings, right? So is that a big thing that uh, people uh, you know they they can't really. Uh, find their little uh, niche in Australia and so they move so they elsewhere. elsewhere. Seems to be a thing. It used thing. to be the thing in the 80s, I think. Yeah. Probably for Kiwis as well, right, For Joe? sure, I would say, yeah. 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 Something about retracing the, the lineage and getting back to, I don't know, London. Yeah. But um, no, it's a pretty solid scene in Australia these days. Yeah. Get a lot of good exports. You show me some great videos of yeah. you playing in like big ska bands. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like 20 people on stage. It's fucking great. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, big festival of acts, and uh, yeah, it was a good time living there. But you know, it's uh, it's a good life here as well. Fair fucks to that. Yeah. Uh, actually, our next uh, artist, maybe this is a good time to go into a segue. Our next Smooth. artist is from Australia, and her name is Jessie Monk. And I have to say, she's uh, one of the best singers she's I've great. ever ever heard. Uh, she's incredible. So uh, let's let's check out Jessie Monk and her song is called "Turns Out I'm Someone Else." Sometimes I wonder why I came here And if this is all just a dream I read we're only getting older, babe Written on some shitty parkside graffiti And the more I get to know myself The more I know never see there's no way I'll ever know anyone else and there really is no way anyone else can ever know me so I watch the children in the park as all my lies slip away there's still some innocence left here inside my as I listen to the birds sing, reminding me it's okay. I do not know anything, only these words that I sing, because I'm sick of talking shit I do not mean. Looking everywhere for someone to love me So as the sun pours down upon my face 
squeezing through cracks between the clouds There's nothing more I feel I need to say But the pen that keeps running on my page is cause for doubt I'm pretty sure that things are buried here Buried underneath my skin But time will help me excavate All these tunnels in my darkness So light can flow in I thought I knew myself Turns out I'm someone else and it appears that things are changing all the time And nothing in this world is really mine So I watch the strangers in the park Breathing in the city air Looks like I'm still afraid of the dark But I'm really gonna try and stop Looking for love everywhere And the birds, they'll keep singing Cause they don't care segment of cool time starts now so we just heard jesse monk uh really really beautiful music i think she's moved back to australia now and we were just talking during the song we were listening to the song as well we were talking about uh, that we all uh <laughs> oh, no. Man, that was chaos not, not the monkey lamp. Not the monkey. Not the monkey lamp. That, that was not cool time. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't break Cameron's monkey, man. Take that monkey. <laughs> that monkey on his back, man. But uh, yeah, I think uh, it is fascinating, though, that everybody left. But is there any uh, positives from what, what you can do here that you actually just couldn't fathom in any way you could have done back home? Is there anything like uh, here that it would just be impossible back in Plymouth, for example? Is <clears throat> the main reason I stayed, because I didn't plan to stay when I first came over. Yeah. It was it was cheap to live and there was rehearsal rooms that were, you know, affordable. Yeah. And there was a lot of musicians around. It was just, you couldn't, you know, to have a flat on your own for three, four hundred euros, pay, paying like 50 euros each in a band, to have a rehearsal room that's available 30 days in the month, you know, it was, it was, yeah. it was a completely different scene to, you know, rent in England and paying 40, 40 pounds an hour for like a rehearsal room, you know, it's crazy. And you just think that you've met, well, you've, you've played with Bar Dog, you've played with Moan, you've played with a lot of people. And so you just meet so many people as well. That yeah, for sure. Just... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's no, I mean, there is a music scene in Plymouth, but it's not, you know, it's nothing like this. It's, it's covers bands and things. So. Yeah. But in Melbourne, there is there is quite a scene there, and you were playing with everybody. It's a good scene. The good thing with Melbourne is there's lots of venues that'll put like uh, a band that's never played before on. Yeah, that's cool. They bring yeah, them up, yeah. and, and they listen. Like we yeah. do, actually have venues where you go, have a good rock and roll show, and there'll be some shitty bands, but it's still cool. There'll be a good headliner. You can put a night on. You run the door. So yeah, Melbourne's pretty fucking cool for that. Um, and yet you left. And left. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, you know, it's Berlin's, uh, you know, we're all magnetized to this place for different reasons, but it's a pretty diverse and awesome place to be. Yeah. It's a love-hate thing, but um, 
it is still quite cheap to live. I mean, compared to Melbourne, I couldn't live the way I live here, there, I don't think. Oh, man. You know, Ireland, probably the same with Ireland. I uh, go home to my friends. I'm like, what? You're doing what? Uh, I, I, went, <laughs> I went to go visit my friend and he was like, I ah, just live with seven people in this house, you know? I'm like, you're 34, man. And he's like, uh, yeah, it's just the housing market has gone astronomical. And yeah. here, mm. uh, I, I share a room with my girlfriend and we're, we pay like, Two fifty a month each, and uh, it, that's the only reason I could be a musician. I mm. don't think I could be a musician in Ireland at all. Mm. I don't think so. It's not possible. It's still not possible for me. Mm. And when we first moved here as well, like saying there was clubs where you could do DIY nights, where you could just run the door, run the bar, yeah. run everything. But due to all the gentrification, like a lot of those clubs in Berlin have now closed down, which is True. a shame. Like it's getting less and less the yeah. amount of venues you can play a proper gig at. It's yeah. cafes and acoustic gigs now. It's um. A lot of the really cool places 10 years ago have disappeared. Yeah, what do you think it's going to be like in five years? Gig. What's that? Berlin, do you think it's still going to oh. be doable in five years? <laughs> Fucking downer. I, I think yeah. I did this downer <laughs> on another episode as well. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, five years. Let's not speak of five years from now. Uh, no, yeah. <laughs> but don't you run a, don't you run a night? At, um... Man, that has saved my uh, ass completely. I, I, I started a night in 2017 because... Um, my friend recommended I do it because I, I quit my job because uh, I, I just couldn't do the office work anymore. And uh, it, this one bar just said, yeah, we'll give you a night. Uh, Tuesday nights in Mitte, which was uh, tourists coming in. So drunk, all these tourists coming in and we were just playing folk music and hoping for the best. And I've been able to continue that night every Tuesday. We took a break when that, <laughs> that bar collapsed uh, because of... Uh, you know, suspicious reasons. And then uh, and then a new bar said, oh, we'll put on your night again. So I've been running the same night now for uh, since 2017. That's five years. And that is what's paid my rent. And that's, wow, what's, yeah. that's what made me uh, be able to focus full time on music. Otherwise, I don't know what the fuck I'd be doing. Probably, probably hosting a podcast on uh, <laughs> Famous Gonna Watch Radio. <laughs> I don't know what I'd be doing. Uh, Cam, uh, to make ends meet, you were famously were uh, writing for a very uh, esoteric golf magazine. <laughs> the golf magazine. <laughs> Rears its head again. Yes, I like I was. to talk about the golf magazine. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of writing gigs, but for some reason, the golf mag really captures the imagination. <laughs> Everyone's like, hey, man, how's that golf magazine going? It's like, yeah, good. Still going. You're a big golfer. Yeah, huge, yeah. huge golfer. <laughs> Yeah, I just came from the uh, the links or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Love the golf. Love, uh, love to swing. <laughs> He's a swinger in the. What, so, what, what was the name of the golf magazine? It was called Caddy. Okay. Yeah, it's a very cool magazine, actually. You know, yeah. it was a, uh, you know, a glossy photographic kind of thing. And um, it's a nice get, name for a magazine, right? Because the caddy, caddy is the is the assistant of the golfer kind That's of right. thing, right? It's like it's the, the, the helper. Yeah, the uh, the well, consigliere. The, the, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which uh, which stick am I going to use? Yeah. yeah, you got a really good flair for writing as well. Uh, did, uh, how did how did that materialize? Were you always just writing all the time? Or Thanks, what? man. That was very kind words. Oh no worries. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I used to write when I was younger, even before I started properly playing music. Yeah, just to get the thoughts out and to feel good. Yes. So. You know, that's it's a therapeutic thing. Keeping a journal? Do you ever do that? Do the morning pages, man. Yeah, yeah. for fuck's sake. Two three. I, it's, it's, it's such a meditative thing to get you, uh, uh, just get your thoughts straight, isn't it? It yeah. really helps. Yeah. What's that? Expl what is the... Oh, so there's a famous book uh, called The Artist's Way by this woman, Julia Cameron. And she, um, I mean, she didn't invent this. It's basically just sitting down and writing each morning, two or three pages. But yeah. it's like a, a jog for the brain and... The more you do it, you know, it, it, you purge what you need to. You go deep into the subconscious, you know, Carl Jung again. And uh, <laughs> and uh, sometimes lyrics come out. Sometimes, Especially uh, in the morning, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Just, Have a coffee. There's definitely something yeah. about the the morning you, is the best time to write. Yeah, yeah right after you've had your dreams. Yes, you, yeah. You're you in that state. You try to clarify your thoughts a little or get over whatever weird dreams you're going through and you just uh, write anything. Yeah. And it doesn't actually, I found, because I used to be a, a journaler as well, but now, now I'm like, it, just writing prose or something, it still works. It mm. doesn't actually have to be about anything. Relate, it can be just fiction yeah. and it still works. Free form. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So try it at home, folks. Yeah. 
What are you going to say, Phil? I was going to say when he came over with Fight Ended Here. And because we were just making demos at my house, and he's like, you know, I got this kind of rock and roll song, three chords. Mm. And it's like, Fight Ended Here. Fart ended here. I'm like, this is fucking insane. This is great. Like, what the fuck? I, lo I love the way, I love his lyrics. I love the way, it, just the way he uses words. It's, it's fucking hilarious. It's like, it's got that inherent uh, comedy to it, but it's kind of like, you know, not laugh out loud funny. I really like it. Yeah. And also, and then when you go, actually in your solo project, uh, Cameron has it, you, you, it's kind of like a slightly de deeper, I don't know. I don't like to, I don't like to differentiate between deeper and having the crack is actually you can have both at the exact same time do you find do you find it silly to divide it as in yeah it kind of weaves yeah. in and out exactly simultaneously right that stuff is a little bit deeper in tone yeah <laughs> to them yeah than the ron huss and the weasel stuff but there's a lot of overlap you know it's pretty much uh you know actually following up could for be that. the same two people Might be. <laughs> <laughs> i got a question just following on for that i'm fascinated by this as well do you ever write something where you're like oh this is just a bit of fun yeah. and then you look back at it a few months later and like oh actually there's something in that that was a little uh, yeah yeah well fight in it here was just yeah. a scribble that'd be a stupid song yeah and then it turns out fucking great yeah one verse yeah, you know? yeah. and the chorus that just repeats ad yeah. nauseum <laughs> and a fucking porn, porn horn solo in the middle and some mad weaseling. <laughs> some mad weaseling. Yeah, great weaseling there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so actually, maybe it's a good time to bring up our final song now, which is, uh, do you have anything to say before we go? Anything you want to talk about? Do I have anything to say? Joseph, <laughs> 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 yeah. something yeah. you would like to tell There was something you were, you were going to announce. <laughs> no, not at all, actually. I was, I'm, 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 I'm cool. I think we're... Cool Lovely. time. Well, We've done cool it well here on Cool Time. Yeah. Uh, shall we review the episode? How do you think we did? We think we did we're well. resounding we seven well. out of uh, 17? Seven and a half. Seven and a half out yeah. of 10? What do you think, Joe? What do you think we got? Seven and a half is that's a generous. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I think it's good. It's steady. That's nice. So, a good seven out of seven and a half out of ten. This is the second episode, right? <laughs> this is third. Third, this is third episode, is yeah, yeah. What, what were the first two? What uh, we had uh, Denise uh, Dombrowski and Lisa Schultz, whose stage names I should say instead, which is uh, Els Deer and uh, Lisa Akua. And we also did The Mogul in episode so are we, one. Are we better than them? Yeah, I think uh, the best one ever was just always this one. That's the answer. You always <laughs> right. say this is the answer, right? Or the next one. And uh, we're going to end on uh, Cameron Hazard's uh, song, The New Fire, which I really love. So, uh, okay, thanks very much, lads. Cheers, uh, this fellas. is The Cheers, New Fire. You. Hurrah. Cheers. 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 Look us all in the eye. <laughs> Look me in the eye. Oh, no, an empty glass. That's bad luck.
So much larger. Don't want to 